Hi, it's Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the inverse of a function, all right, and uh, on a given domain. It turns out that we can kind of just disregard, this is the domain, right, uh, by the way, that's domain notation, and um, we can simply just disregard this, just pretend it doesn't even exist for this problem. It's really unimportant. You'll see why, though, um, they gave us these values in a second. But let's just focus on finding the inverse of a function. So all you have to do, first thing is, uh, if you have f of x, all right, just turn that into a y. Just make it y. So we're going to rewrite the function. First thing is to uh, turn f of x into y. Now what you're going to do is you're going to flip-flop. In other words, you're going to replace the x with a y and the y with an x. So everywhere I have an a, a y, I'm going to write x. And everywhere I have an x, then I'm going to write a y. Okay, so I basically did a little flip-flop. And now, in order to find the inverse function, all I have to now do is to solve, solve for my new y. Just solve for y. Okay, so this is the flip. And this is just to rewrite it, f of x is y. That's all it is. It's really kind of three steps. So now I have to solve this for y. Uh, in order to do that, this is just algebra. Uh, we have a square here, so we have to get rid of it. In order to do that, we have to square root both sides of the equation. So when I do that, I get a square root of x on the left, and then the square root of something squared is just itself. So it's just y minus 4. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 4 to both sides. All right? And it's just going to be radical x plus 4 is equal to y. Now, this essentially is your new function, okay? We can denote this by, now this is your new function. And in order to kind of make the proper notation now, remember, this is kind of your, no, that looks like a 4, but it's a y. Um, what you're going to do, this is kind of your new y. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to replace that y with f of x again, but I'm just going to put a little minus 1 up there to denote that it is the inverse, okay? So that's all it is. So then there's one little step at the end to replace it with f of x minus one to note it as the inverse. And that's all there is to it, all right? That's really it. So um, so yeah, that's all. Hopefully this video helps. And the domain here has nothing to do with it, all right? It doesn't really matter what domain they kind of gave us. I know though, though that the actual domain of this particular function of this inverse function is going to be, I have to have some positive value in here for x, right? You cannot take the square root of a negative number. So I know that the domain for this is actually going from zero, inclusive of it, all the way to infinity, all right? That's the actual domain of that function. And this domain that they gave us is contained kind of within that overall real domain of the function. So there's really no issues, uh, but that's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in. And we'd love to help you with more. Check out our channel. we got thousands of videos out there to help you through your class. We solve actual problems because that's what you're going to see on your test. All right. We'd love to help you. We'd love to guide you through. Take care.